Hi everyone, so I'm back with another video about Diablo 4 and today I want to talk about Lucky Hit Chance. So what is Lucky Hit Chance? You might have seen this in some of the like previews and some of the other videos, maybe some items or skills that you have seen. And I wanted to go a little bit more into detail of what this stat actually does and how that works. If you are familiar with proc chances and proc coefficients in other games, for example in Diablo 3, if you know the details of, of these effects, then this is nothing really new to you, but I am sure there's going to be a lot of people that do not know about this or at the very least only vaguely. But for example, the other day I was making my rogue class overview and then you see here these skill tooltips that we have made from the in-game tooltips. And you can see here at the top of every single skill there is this lucky hit chance. So there always is like some percentage value attached to every skill. So there's 50, there's 50, 50, and then you have like other skills that have like maybe a bit less or a bit more, but they always have like different values here. So what you need to know here that essentially whenever there is a chance for a random effect to happen with a certain skill, this chance is multiplied by this lucky hit chance value. So in the case of Barrage, for example, you shoot five arrows every time you use the skill, in some cases even more arrows. And obviously if you have a certain like random chance, you would multiply that chance to, to happen up to five times for each arrow. So this would make Barrage in particular a very overpowered skill to proc certain effects. So this means that to like, you know, trigger certain effects. So instead it has a lower chance to do that to kind of balance it out with more single target oriented skills, for example. And the same applies to every single skill. So skills that are usually intended to hit more targets have a lower chance to trigger something. So with the values that we have in the game, this is not necessarily perfectly balanced. You know, certain skills are not like Barrage where they shoot exactly five times and then you just have 20% chance. But for example, there might be like AOE skills like fireball or blizzard or something like that where potentially you can hit like 20 30 targets at once and it's just like you know one big explosion and they have the lucky hit chance of i don't know maybe 15 percent or so so theoretically in some scenarios especially when you have like big packs of enemies some of those aoe skills can be way stronger than others here yeah, for example fireball has 33 percent chance so you're intended to hit around three targets with this but it can hit a lot more than that while for example Barrage cannot. So there will certainly be some builds that will work around these proc coefficients, these lucky hit chances here, and try to make use of them as much as possible to have a setup that can absolutely annihilate like big packs of enemies, for example, with those skills that have a rather high lucky hit chance, but can still hit many, many targets at once as long as you have enough of them. But that's not all. There's also the lucky hit effects that you can actually find as, for example, a stat on an item or as a legendary aspect. So in addition to this lucky hit chance multiplier that they have on a skill, there are obviously also the effects themselves. And uh, here's an old screenshot. This is from like a blog post. I don't have an in-game screenshot and it looks a little bit different, but uh, you get the idea with this as well. So here's, for example, there's a wand on the left and it has this hit effect, 4% immobilized chance. So in the game right now that we've played, it's that lucky hit or lucky hit effect so effectively, this is those trigger chances. And here you have a 4% chance to immobilize. And again, this chance is multiplied by your skills lucky hit chance. So in the case of uh, Barrage, you have to have this, you have like 20% of this value. So 0.8% chance per arrow on Barrage. So this is basically how that goes. And this applies to every single uh, lucky hit effect in the game. And there's quite a lot of them. You can see this in the legendary overview, for example. Uh, so if you just type like lucky hit here, you see that um, yeah, there's, there's quite a bunch of like especially legendary effects. So for example here, they have a chance when you use this or that skill to summon an ancient, you know, 40% chance. And again, this 40% chance is multiplied uh, with the chance of the skill because it's a lucky hit effect. So I don't know, Whirlwind, for example, probably has a rather low lucky hit chance because you constantly attack many enemies around you. So this might have, again, something like 20% chance. So the real value here is 8%, for example. And then you have like another thing here, lucky hit, uh, damaging bleeding enemies has a 31% chance to stun them. Again, this might be a much lower value because of the skill that you're using. However, not every chance in the game is multiplied by lucky hit chance. So I'm gonna give you another example of that. 
and this is for example this barrage um, effect here so staying with this rogue example here it says barrage arrows have a 15 percent chance to split into two arrows whenever they ricochet and this is actually not saying lucky hit and this means that this is a flat percent chance every single arrow that you shoot has a 15 percent chance to split which also does make a lot more sense so it is not something where you, you proc like a certain like crowd control effect or a damage effect or something like that. It's just like flat out, you shoot one arrow and it can split and every other arrow can also split. And there is also various chance or trigger effects like this that do not like multiply with the skills lucky hit chance. So one good example would be this necromancer aspect here. So it says enemies that are stunned by corpse tendrils are also made vulnerable. And if they die while stunned, they have a 15% chance to spawn a blood orb. So there's like a flat chance, you know, an enemy dies and you have only so many enemies. So it wouldn't make sense for this to multiply with the lucky hit chance value of the skill that they're using. Because that's just like any random skill that they could use to defeat enemies. And some skills will be way better to practice than others in that case. So there's, you know, a bunch of examples where you have lucky hit chances and there's a bunch where you just have random chances and this obviously depends on the condition itself. Now there's one last thing that goes into all this lucky hit chance stuff and this is the lucky hit chance stat. So for example if you socket a topaz into your weapon you can get plus lucky hit chances. So you see this here for example a crude topaz gives you 3%, a chip topaz gives you 4 and so on when you have higher ranks. And there's also certain items that roll lucky hit chance. I believe, uh, for example, rings can do that. Uh, so you can stack this up a little bit. There's also certain uh, passes, for example, on the rogue. There's like a pass that can give you like 15% extra lucky hit chances under certain circumstances. And another one where you can get more lucky hit chances. And there might be some legendary items, etc. So you can actually kind of like invest into this whole like trigger stuff if you want to. And potentially have, you know, up to like double the chances to proc certain effects. And uh, depending on what that is and, you know, and how much you rely on it, they might actually be able to make a build pretty much designed around certain lucky hit effects. And the cool part about this lucky hit chance is that this is actually displayed in the game as well. So you know the real value. So we have an example here of like a skill tooltip. So this is how a skill tooltip looks. But unfortunately in the screenshot from Blizzard, um, they didn't turn on the advanced tooltips. So it's not displayed here. So we usually have this lucky hit chance like right here, I believe, under the cooldown. And then Shadow Step would probably say 100%, I believe. It's like a single target attack. And then this 100% would actually be multiplied by your stacked lucky hit chance value. So if you have like plus 20%, this would actually say 120% lucky hit chance. And then this 120% value, again, would be multiplied by, you know, whatever proc you have. Then lastly, instead of just scaling the lucky hit chance, you could also scale, for example, the amount of hits that you are doing with attack speed. So attack speed seems to be a rather like precious resource in Diablo 4, so you can't stack like, you know, five attacks per second, like in D3 or something very easily. You don't have like these insane, crazy attack speed effects. But there are certainly some ways to increase your attack speed. There's like a roll on a glove, for example. There's probably some stuff on paragons or on skill tree sometimes depending on the class so stuff like that and I imagine that if you want you can also invest into attack speed which also synergizes with proccing and like triggering more effects so that you can go even further in this direction if you want and then have like even more stuff going on when I played the game most of the time I did not really rely too much on these lucky hit effects but there are certainly some that are quite valuable there are certainly some really good offensive procs or even defensive procs or something like that that uh, matter and I'm pretty sure we're going to see uh, builds not necessarily really leaning into lucky hit chances but uh, definitely using them uh, most of the time. And there might be uh, certainly builds that also really you know go deep and just stack lucky hit chance everywhere and just basically only proc stuff all the time and then they yeah, have like crazy stuff going on. So I think we can see both. And the game just does give you the tools to do that, which is pretty amazing. And that's also all there is to it for now. So I don't really have like any specific builds to share or so, but we're gonna see that in the open beta when we can actually like record our own footage, talk about more stuff, etc. And I'm also looking forward to that and trying out a lot of different builds when the game actually comes. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.